This video on the history of pi focuses on the polygon approximation era. And this era was started when Archimedes found that pi is less than 3 and 1 7th and greater than 3 and 10 71st. And in the last video I went through how Archimedes was able to find this result using large inscribed and circumscribed polygons to find the upper and lower bounds of pi. And this result by Archimedes was found in 250 BCE. And this era, the polygon approximation era, continued all the way into the 1600s CE. So the next person to use polygons to find the value of pi was Ptolemy. And Ptolemy, around the year 150, used a regular polygon with 360 sides to find that pi is approximately 3.1416, which you can notice is correct to four places of accuracy. The next digits after the 1 in the true value of pi would be 5, 9, so the 6 is fairly close. And Ptolemy found this while living in the city of Alexandria during the Roman Empire, but all of his work was written in Greek. And after Ptolemy, most of the advancements in pi happened in the east. So next we have China. And around the year 100 CE, they used a value of pi, which was approximately the square root of 10, which as a decimal is about 3.1623. And between the years 200 and 300 CE, the Chinese used a value of pi that was 142 divided by 45, which as a decimal is equal to 3.15, with the 5 repeating. And in the year 265 CE, the Chinese mathematician Lu Hui used a 3,000, so he used a 3,072 sided regular polygon to find that pi is about. 3.1416 and Lu Hui eventually went on to develop a much more efficient method of finding values of pi which was taken up by the Chinese mathematician Su Chongji in the year 480 CE and he was able to find a value of pi that was approximately 355 over 113, which as a decimal is about 3.1415-9292. And you can notice that this value of pi is accurate to seven digits. And this value stood as the world record for nearly 800 years. And Sue found this result by using a polygon a regular polygon with 12,288 sides. And the next advancement for the digits of pi comes from the Persian astronomer Jamshid al Kashi, who in the year 1424 found 17 digits of pi. And he did this using a regular polygon with 3 times 2 to the 28th power sides. And this number is approximately 800 million sides. And after Jamshid, we have the Dutch mathematician in the year 1596, Ludolf von Kulen who found pi to 20 digits. And by the time of his death, 
in the year 1610, he was able to increase this to 35 digits of pi. And the main reasons for such significant advancements in the value of pi comes from the fact that around this time the decimal system was invented. So people started writing numbers in a similar way that we write them today. But prior to this, it was much more complicated to write any kind of fractional number. And because Ludolf spent so much of his life calculating these digits, in Germany, up until the 1900s, pi was referred to as the Ludolfian number. Ludolfian number. And he even had these digits of pi inscribed on his tombstone. And to find these 35 digits, Ludolf had to use a regular polygon with 2 to the 62nd power sides. And this number is about 4.61 times 10 to the 18th power. And to finish out the polygon approximation era, we have the Austrian astronomer Christoph Greinberger who in the year 1630 was able to find 38 digits of pi. And these 38 digits remain today as the world record for the most amount of digits found using polygonal approximations. And the main reason that people stopped using this method was that around this time in the 15 and 1600s people started to discover infinite series and infinite product representations of pi. So a few examples of that are the series pi divided by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh plus 1 ninth minus 1 eleventh and so on. This goes on forever. And an example of an infinite product, we have pi over 2 is equal to the product of all of the even numbers squared divided by the product of all of the odd numbers squared. So if you multiply this term by term, the result will eventually converge to pi over 2 in the same way that as we add more and more of these terms here, this result will converge to pi over 4. And using a modification of this series here, the world record was increased to 71 digits in the year 1699.